Good morning, lights. You have been a constant friend to us for a very long time now, and we've compiled a list of everything we know and love about you. We do this because we think you're intriguing beings that are absolutely unexpected, but wonderful. Yes, it is wonderful and often unexpected. How two different persons can respond to the same stimulus in such different ways. You are intriguing, fascinating, and a lot of fun to be around. What's the point of this? We want to do an experiment. We're presenting you with a new gift that you may accept or reject at your discretion. We believe it will be fascinating to see. What you will do with this gift? We'd want to dismantle some of the barriers that surround you. Do you want to look through the illusion? Does it strike you as a good idea, or maybe not? Since some of you have done this before and weren't happy with the result, does this seem like enough exposure to you, or does it feel like too much? You'd have to make your own decision. We will assist you in dissolving these sites that you no longer need in order to feel safe on the planet. So, what exactly do you want to see? Have you ever wished to be able to see your aura, dear friends? How much are you willing to risk? We encourage you to investigate this subject, since the future may present itself to you. In the most unexpected manner, many of you believed that this was what you want, and many of you have returned to your former limited vision of yourself. Perhaps the easiest way is the best way for you, but only you can determine how much of yourself you want to expose. There is no need to go all the way up. But you may try uncovering some truth and seeing how it feels, because, my dear friends, a new Earth portal has been opened. From time to time, people on Earth may wonder what their lives are all about. Not everyone can comprehend what it would be like to live on new heaven on Earth. Talk about love and light may be distasteful to them. They associate the earth with fury, grief, greed, disease, and poverty. These thoughts and attitudes have been implemented in them throughout millennia of their life on Earth. Souls come and go. Throughout their time on Earth, they are subjected. To a tremendous degree of hatred from other souls, it is sometimes as though it's ingrained in their very being. The darkness that formed on Earth as a consequence of souls that ate these wicked emotions created this way of life. My dearest friends, the moment has arrived for you to stand up and release these terrible feelings from your spirit. The majority of you hearing these words are aware of what is going on, and are working hard to shift from darkness to light. This is the reason for your visit. It is now time for you all to go from the third to the fifth dimension of Earth's paradise. Gaia is a living, breathing being, a loving and light-filled creature. By knowing all of the souls on her planet, she is supporting you in eradicating the last vestiges of unpleasant feelings inside you. Isn't it obvious that she adores you? However, she is aware of the evil doers, and has ordered them to depart. Gaia is undergoing a transformation right now. And these evil forces have no place on her planet. As you can see, she's pretty busy. 
as she moves from the dark third dimension to the lighter fifth dimension, where every spirit is worried about her well-being. You've all observed her transformation. Earthquakes, strong winds, flooding, and odd weather patterns are all taking place. An evil power has interfered with many of her weather systems in the past, and she is slowly recovering harmony and balance. Dark spirits have sought to rule Gaia for millennia. She has patiently awaited humanity's evolution, but now is the time for all souls on the planet to merge with her. Many people have volunteered to help her. Her weather patterns will alter, resulting in benign weather for a huge area of the planet, enabling humanity to thrive. This may all seem like a pipe dream to you, and you may assume what is happening in the distant future. But dear ones, keep in mind that it is all happening right now and right here on Earth. Individuals that are in touch with Gaia might enter the new Earth as a result of the forces that are now attacking the planet. Poverty, disease, malnutrition, and a lack of love will no longer exist in the planet. On the other side, those with a lower vibration who refuse to adjust will be unable to retain their vibrations. Many of you have experienced symptoms in your bodies that have never been seen before on the globe. When your journey through these new frequencies, to put it another way, your body is catching up with your mind. Be patient with yourself and ask your body what it needs to go through these frequencies. Your body is changing from carbon to crystalline, and you must accept these changes regardless of how tough they may be. Many of you are weary and have weird symptoms as you adjust to these new frequencies. Gaia is related to both your body and soul, so talk to her and listen to what she has to say. Your body cells are constantly regenerating and know exactly what they need. Your body may need more rest, sunlight, nutrition, and exercise. Learn to appreciate and be in tune with your body, and to love it despite its shortcomings. There is always a lesson to be learned in every ailment. People find it difficult to grasp. Yet, there is a spiritual lesson in every illness, no matter how tough it is to hear. The calmer you are, the more you learn to listen to and cherish the body in which your soul lives. Due to a malvolent power, many developments have been kept hidden from you. Many of humanity's ailments are the result of a nefarious dominant goal. They are fully aware that many ailments could have been addressed centuries ago and that many illnesses were invented by them in order to benefit from the therapy. Money given to so-called charitable organizations with a good heart end up in the hands of these evil organizations. Many of the world's so-called ailments are consequence of an evil entity attempting to profit from a so-called cure while trapping people in a fear matrix. As a heavenly being, you've been kept in the dark about your own inherent sovereign might. A wave of souls is awakening across the earth, and once awake, they do not slumber again. The frequencies will be broadcast until all souls have woken and the darkness has dissipated. When the horrific realities that are beginning to emerge become known, 
you will be badly needed to aid them. All that is left for you to do is be yourself. You can't persuade them to agree with you. They, like you, must learn for themselves. This has been determined and it will happen right now. As the world changes, there is no need to be afraid anymore. Take notice of the changes that are occurring in your environment. Gaia is climbing and you are ascending as well. I hope this message gives you hope, my dear friends. The ascension is happening and it's happening now. As always, we love you deeply and wish for you to have the most abundant and joyous life possible. Have a wonderful day. Driven through the darkness Looking for the sunrise Sometimes it feels like we're so far away Trying to keep our heads above the waves